Let's talk about some things that make you unhealthy. Right now, I feel like I have been chronically stressed, which has led to me being basically the unhealthiest version of myself I've ever been. And it is tearing me apart. I can't live like this anymore, and I have to do something about it. So I wanted to sit down and make a video really showing you guys what I am doing in my life right now to cope with what has gone on the last couple years, some stresses that have led to a complete kind of health deterioration from thyroid issues, low testosterone, increased cortisol level, TSH, DHEA, all of these things that are super important. So I, I, I have to talk about them with you guys. I feel like I can't go on and just front like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm in the gym. <sighs> My workouts have been shit for about two, three years. It really stems from years of competing, never really allowing my body to recover. So trying to live at a very low body fat. Workouts that were super strenuous year round, not taking any time off. All of these things built up and eventually I was left with a thyroid that was underactive. I've been on a thyroid medication for about the last six or seven years. Gotta hit the reset button. I can't do this, I need help. We're gonna talk about what I did this past week for myself. Men, I don't think we talk about these types of issues. We are told by other men that we need to be more masculine. We're then told by a lot of society that you know being masculine, that's toxic if you're too masculine. So this is really getting back to a positive, not only physical, but mental and spiritual side. Things, you know, I feel like that I've neglected in the past. And I think that going forward, I kind of want my channel to be not just about physical health, but about that emotional and mental health. So this week, the first thing I did was get blood work done. And I sat down with the people over at Transcend after getting my blood work and we went over everything. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I was actually kind of surprised with these. I don't when, I don't know when my last blood work was, but I felt like everything had kind of improved a little bit. What exactly was your experience with, you started the enclomiphene and the HCG, right? I took DHEA as well. I stopped it at about the same time as the enclomiphene as well. So yeah, it was DHEA, enclomiphene, and then also the HCG. So that was all in order to try to get the natural testosterone up from, what were we, 385 or something? 345 and like 3.3, .3, which you did low. Real low, did. that's like very low. So it did something, but it also is still very suboptimal because like your total test now on this recent panel got to 639 and then the free test was like 6.8, but 6.8 is still like- Super low. Free testosterone versus total testosterone. What's the correlation there? And, and then obviously they're both low, but why, why isn't that, that free testosterone reflective of that 639? Like, it seems like it's a little bit lower than that should be. So think of the, the free testosterone as like the usable bioavailable form of testosterone. Essentially, think about like the building blocks to testosterone. It's a precursor. I was actually reading an article talking about how athletes that have super intense training regimens for an extended period of time you know gymnasts you could say like some crossfitters competition bodybuilders those years of extreme dieting getting super super lean coming back out but also just extreme training that wrecks havoc obviously on your hormones for me we talked about between you know covid being morgan being gone moving out of my house you know, three different times, getting Morgan back into the country. We, we've just had so much stress. Part of me is like, I still don't feel like I've optimized my natural. I would love to see if I could get my natural testosterone to like 750 or 800. I don't know if that's in the cards, but like if I waited a year after TRT with the right supplementation to get my natural testosterone higher again, would we still see that go up a little bit or you think we are kind of maxed out? It can take really getting all the way through that three to four months for the body to say, all right, um, it's almost like a locomotive getting its wheels going. I, I obviously, as a kid, had high testosterone and college had high testosterone. So I feel like 38 years old, what would be a solid number? Somewhere between 800 to 1200. 800 to 1200, okay. okay. You're not far from that. Yeah, I just hate the thought of being on TRT the rest of my life in order to feel, you know, feel good. A, I hate, I hate shots, I'll always have. Mm -hmm. B, I feel like taking testosterone 
whether it's cancer or heart related issues with an increase of testosterone, we've seen those studies before, but those are typically involving a with out of that normal range level of testosterone yeah. correct yeah so we consider that like super therapeutic if it's like over 1500 that is where those negative things start to come into play right t4 t3 how is that looking i go back and forth i would love to be off thyroid medicine one day but i don't feel like that might ever be in the cards your, your t3 which is your active thyroid is 4.3 it's about as ideal as, as it could and should be. And then of course your T4, this is totally fine and totally in a good place as well. This is your inactive thyroid. How long have you been on, you know, some sort of thyroid medication if you, you had to guess? Probably, I mean, geez, 2016 after I got done competing really. Am I needing to actually change how many, my split, how many days I'm training to eventually actually feel better? A hundred percent. That's exactly right though. And from a biological standpoint, um, what are our bodies designed to do? Keep us safe. Right. Our bodies don't really care about us in our physique and how we feel. Things like hits and things like, in some contexts, um, you know, intermittent fasting or even going on prolonged fast where your body is not getting the nutrients that it needs, it starts to add up. Right. And uh, we refer to it as like your allostatic load of stress. It might mean training four days a week, um, hit once a week mobility once a week and then list once a week it might mean switching things up to where you're not just flatlining that cns all the time the best analogy is like i'm keeping my car like on e just putting enough gas in it to to just get by that's going to be a struggle on the engine eventually we all know testosterone as like oh testosterone is what makes people super strong and hit home runs and and you know be roid rage we hear all that kind of stuff but if you don't have enough testosterone, life's kind of hell. It's like, it affects your sleep, obviously libido, um, but there's also health risk for men with super low testosterone. And we know now that generationally, we are getting lower and lower and lower in testosterone naturally. What would you say are, are clinically probably your biggest side effects from low testosterone. It's interesting thing that you brought that up is that you got high testosterone problems and people focus on that so much. Yep. And the negative effects of low testosterone can be de just as detrimental, if not more detrimental in some scenarios. Irritability, so, like, it's like, it's like yeah, people think yeah. of roid rage on guys with so much testosterone. Like if you have a guy who's super low on testosterone, that dude is is so irritable and I've, I've caught myself i think you know when i'm when i am low on testosterone you just when you don't feel good you are irritable not to sound dramatic but it's kind of like the backbone of who you are in a lot of ways right because it's tied to how you feel how you perform how you recover how you sleep any any peptide route we want to look at to where that might be able to pick up some of the the slack yeah bpc 157 it stands for body protection compound especially in the bodybuilding community it's been brought to light there because they're like oh this is going to help you if you have an injury, injury recovery. Right. And what it does is it's actually, you know, it's like 15 different amino acids strung together. Um, and it's formed from, made from human gastric juice, which sounds kind of gross, but it's, you know. Sounds very gross. Oh, great. <laughs> it helps to expedite the healing process. So really, really phenomenal peptide that if you've been having chronic pain, back issues, yep. it's, it's only going to help. Even like injectable L-carnitine is really great to help with boosting natural testosterone levels because of how it helps to increase. Basically, your body's utilizing more testosterone. You know, I think for you, it's just a matter of kind of looking at some of those different options. If I do this and really give it, I guess, 100%, um, and, and then we're still suboptimal, then it's like, okay, TRT probably will, will just be something that it, uh, it's gonna make me feel so much better that it, it makes sense. Based on, based on the labs though, I mean, you, you, your labs are very impressive, you know, otherwise. I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to get my testosterone up to as high as I can naturally. And if, again, if it's just like, nah, you're going to have to supplement with TRT, that's, that's so be it. But I, I like the idea of less is more type thing. You know, if, if the zombie apocalypse were to happen, I don't want to be the guy that's in the corner. Like I can't move because I don't have my shots and pills. And it's like, I don't, I don't want to be that. But at the same time, I realize like, in order to be optimal, there's things that are environmental and genetic factors that I have in my life that, hey, I, I need to work around those things and I need to maybe supplement with certain things that will, will get me to that place of, of just operating on a higher level. Well, I appreciate your time, Gentry. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. We're gonna 
get you feeling feeling your best. Yes. Love the people over there at Transcend, super knowledgeable. I'm gonna actually put a link in here you guys can use to get blood work done. They're super affordable blood work, but then also they have access to so many peptides and different things like that. So I wanna get my natural testosterone up. So it's great to have these guys now in my corner, looking at peptides, doing something where I feel like I can retain muscle mass while I'm trying to get my natural testosterone back up. It might be something that I have to jump on on TRT and maybe be on that for, for life. We'll see here. Excited to see kind of how that goes because I wanna really optimize things. We talk about longevity. We talked about it on that call. And, and really that's why I stopped competing because I didn't wanna take four or five, six compounds. But now it's about, okay, hey, what can I take to, to, to feel good? You know, have kids be eventually down the road, a while down the road, 50 years old, running around on the beach optimizing hormone level. It's gonna be super important moving forward in my life to where I have the energy to do things, where I can maintain a healthy lifestyle, whether it's traveling or whether it's at home. Speaking of traveling, that left my body wrecked from a skeletal, muscular perspective as well. And so one of the, the things that this week I'm also doing is seeing my physical therapist that I've kind of been, haven't seen in a while, so we're gonna jump into my meeting with her and kind of go over the back issue that I'm having. At physical therapy, this is Amber. She, um, sometimes my favorite person, sometimes my least favorite person because she's making me work. But what would you say is wrong with my hip and back? So main things we're working on with the hip is the tightness of yeah. the hip joint. This and then the so bad. decreased glute activation. So I think it's all connected. And then hip flexor tightness and weakness for you too. Well, I mean, everyone really should activate their glutes properly when they work out, especially with legs and things like that. So. You guys could take some of these exercises, but my biggest thing is it's causing me a lot of lower back pain. So if we can get more mobility in the hips. Help with golf. Yeah, <laughs> golf, but then also getting back in the gym. Cause I'm down like 10, 15 pounds. Oh, and ask, yeah. how about when you go this way? Nothing. And then go that way again. Yeah, that Whoa. just looks worse. And it's pulling on that right side. Up higher. Oh, you're right here. So this is like L4-5. Let's see what it is. See if you've maintained anything. How do exercises go? Good for the most part. How's that one? That one's good. Okay, 40. that one's always kind of 35 ish. Yeah. Ooh, 25. What was the hey, last time? Like 20? Good job. That is, That's awesome. That is better. Um, so you were at 10 when we started that eval like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And then last time when I measured you in the beginning, you were at 15. Nice. So you've maintained 10 yep. degrees extra. So we're making progress. Now we just need to keep working on it because you're still 15, 10 to 15 degrees okay. um, decrease. Of that one? Yes. Okay. Um, but this is better. The, the first time I think I saw Amber, I had that Intel intelligent tilt like my torso is kind of like and I was like help me and it's something that I always kind of have had to deal with because chronic tight hips since high school everything it just and I've never ever worked on it so all you young kids out there do mobility I'm gonna have you be on a step and then we're gonna do a hip hinge back to honestly I feel super grateful to have people like Amber and even everyone over there at Vista Spine. Super good people to go to. Doing okay? No pain, just burning, right? No. Burn. And relax. Oh. Go. <laughs> I did over yeah. a thousand. Is that my QL there, or is yes. that? This is. Kelly Clarkson. Almost. And with that PT, I'm gonna be really focusing on increasing really, not just range of motion and mobility, but also looking at areas where like my hip, where there's not a lot of room in that capsule. That's better holding, because you're not shaking as much and you're not Yeah, before red. I was Good just job. like. <laughs> you guys PRing on my. Yes, you are, that press. is a good word for it. <laughs> Pull that yeah, sucker. Yeah, you're, you're at 40. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. So then, how's that feel at the end? Because the end feels. It, it's tight there on the anterior part of my hip. Um, so it feels like it needs to pop and it never does. It's so uncomfortable. So normalizing range of motion is the first step. Yep. And then like end feel, less pain, all of that stuff is going to follow as we keep fixing the issue. The mountain and doing the, the hard, like boring work, coming into the gym for 30 minutes, going through my mobility. I'm going to also have to modify a lot of what I do. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to spend 20 minutes in that pigeon stretch, band work doing all of these things that again, you watch people and you're like, oh, I probably should do that and then I don't. 
but that also means I'm gonna have to modify my training. Instead of doing back squat, I did a shark squat with more of a traction around my lower body. We're always gonna be doing stuff that's gonna be supportive when I do a row. So that might be on an incline bench or a T-bar where I'm supported there. And it, it means just really if anything's gonna aggravate that back, that I'm going to make sure I'm training around that until I am 100% healed up from that. And then always being mindful of that. We all have different genetics. We all are gonna be more susceptible to different types of injuries. And for me, it's gonna be always my lower back. At 38 years old, there's just gonna be some exercises that I choose to do a little differently, to modify, and that's how it's gonna be going forward. Um, on top of physical therapy, uh, you know, getting weekly massages is something that I know. Yes, it's similar to myofascial release, to foam rolling, using that, you know, my hypervolt gun, but working with a massage therapist, they're able to really target areas that I can't get to, and they're able to use a kind of a variety of, of techniques. They know exactly insertions and origins and how to really massage different body parts that are really challenging. So went to the massage as well this week. All right, we are in massage room. Deep tissue work is what I'm, what I'm needing. Everything's kind of right side. So hip, glute, lo lower back. On the hip, do you want me to do hip flexor psoas? Yeah, yeah, psoas. Okay. That sounds painful. It is. <laughs> the more it hurts generally, the better it off it's gonna be. But yeah, I used to get massages all the time. I've been kind of negligent on that. So getting back into it, it just, it makes things so much better. I never know whether to get naked or go boxer briefs, but I mean, I'm looking pretty skinny. I'm like 203 pounds this morning. I'm gonna take these off because these right here actually are my new favorite underwear. Just wanted to let you guys know that they are uh, the Stance underwear. Oh, they're so good. Definitely recommend them. I am getting naked for this though, so I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'll chat to you guys after the massage. Good massage. I always feel like I'm kind of even beat up a little bit after. Just really massage being important to release trigger points. Also gonna promote just a healthy drainage of the lymphatic system and then circulatory system. Get blood into places to help recovery. Always important after massage, drink tons of water like she reminded me. So important because your body, like I said, that drainage, that circulatory system keeps keep flushing the body out. That trigger point therapy, kind of smashing that so as stuff that's not fun, taking 10 to 15 minutes and just staying on top of it every day makes the biggest difference. Do you guys need anything from me? No, we'll see you okay. Okay. That yeah. massage, honestly, when I go in there, it's not to feel good. Everyone's like, oh, you're getting massaged. I feel really bad for you. But massages, if they're working properly, you get done and you are so beat up. Don't be afraid to be like, hey, make it hurt. I always tell her, I had to tell her a couple times, say, you can go harder. In some massages, they've gone so hard where I feel like vomiting almost, but that's probably pushing the limit. Last but not least, you know, this week, big for me to go see the chiropractor. I have some upcoming golf stuff going on, but also chiropractors are super important when we start talking about getting things aligned. Love these guys as well. Let's jump into that. All right, guys, we are here at the chiropractor. I have Dr. Comer here. How you doing? We're here today because I got some issues going on, like I said. Yeah. SIQL, if I can almost like reset that on the regular, eventually it's gonna kind of go back there until I get some of these other issues fixed that we're working on, kind of that joint capsule with my hip and everything, but. Right. Yeah, reality, it, it, it all works together. Not one piece of it is left alone by itself. Right. So if we don't address structure, a lot of times you'll find it falling back into place, right? right? So if we work the capsule and we get the joint to set and, and hold with the soft tissue work on top of it, right. that's where I feel like most people get the best, like fast result. Gotcha. Over time, yeah, you can help retrain some of the joint and some of the lifting and movements that you do are very repetitive. And it, especially the golf swing itself is very atypical movement for the human body. Right. right? A lot of rotation, a lot of high speed. Okay. So helping recover, unwind, yep. and so it doesn't become a dysfunctional pattern going forward is kind of the idea. We'll, we'll kind of see where you're at today. Yep. Do our best to kind of key you up and, and get you lined up here. This is all stuff that I neglected early on and so crucial for young people out there to listen to your body. It's not just one of those things you go into the gym and, and just lift and think you're healthy. There's so much more to health and just exercise with weights or running, whatever it is. So that's what we're taking care of now. Let me go first, face down first. Yeah, right there. Ooh. 
too. That's definitely tender. Chiropractic stuff. It is, I think, for everyone. I'm not just biased. I mean, because I went and saw one, but I feel like they've always helped me. And yes, like they're going to reset things. They're going to manipulate things. Um, it's not a you're fixed after one time you go. Realigning things while I'm doing that PT stuff, that's gonna be super important. Gua sha, is that how you say it? I know there's like Rastin and Gua sha. I know your skin's super sensitive, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> it gets that's why fast. we have that worst, worst pain in the world video has got like 14 million from Dude, that's from so doing crazy. This. <laughs> Steve. I feel like I'm being skinned alive right here. <laughs> I feel like it just keeps me in the gym able to do more things too if I can get kind of that alignment set up. Dr. Comer is just awesome as well over there. It's cool to see the simulator hitting some golf balls afterwards. I do have a, a long drive collab coming up. So I want to be in a position where I can swing that club. But all of this, hopefully you guys, what you guys are taking from this video is I've been undervaluing health which is weird for me to say because I feel like the last 10 years of my life, I've been pushing health. And honestly, I felt like a fraud the last two years. It's a big part of why I haven't been making YouTube videos. It's really hard to be like, oh yeah, come in, let's hit this workout, when the whole time I'm either in pain or I haven't been working out as much because of these other stress factors. It's hard to even get a pump. When, I, when Morgan was out of the country, I went weeks without working out. I was depressed. I also this week didn't, didn't film it, but went and saw a, a life coach, a mentor, a counselor. Um, it's, it's someone that I try to see at least once a month, but it's not because you have problems. You don't wanna wait till mentally you're in a place that's really, I guess, kind of dark. And you know, we all go through these ups and downs in life, but I'll, I'll say this, if you can stay proactive about things, and that's doing your mobility, being mindful in your training, what that looks like, not only from what your split's like, but are you getting adequate sleep? Are you supplementing smart? Are you getting blood work done? And for a lot of you young guys out there, the blood work stuff might not be as necessary, but the mobility, make sure you guys are doing that because really what this is about is a 360 approach to health. Eventually, if you're not healthy mentally, it will take over and express itself on the physical side. And even with COVID, I, 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 you know, I don't wanna just skip over that. At the time, it was devastating for me. It, it, it took away my career of seeing people, meeting people, and and not to mention it, it took me away from my now wife. This video is kind of like, hey, I'm being open and honest. I want to share some hard struggles that I've been going through on all the health fronts. And this is a journey really to getting back to a place that I might not ever, you know, compete again. I don't want to say never, but I might not ever compete again. I might not ever be 4%. What you're watching though here on this channel will always be health related, whether it's hormonal, physical, mental, spiritual, that 360 approach to making sure we're doing everything to live a longer, happier life and, and really living a quality of life that is optimal. So I appreciate you guys watching this. Let me know if you have any questions. I am gonna link a lot of these guys. Again, thank you so much to Transcend for going th over all of these um, you know, protocols with me. You guys can definitely check them out. And if you're wanting to get blood work, I, I think it's one of the most affordable blood work panels. Healthier is happier. And that's where we're going to get to a lot more good things coming at you guys with this YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>